Alrighty then guys, we are back to Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Spirit Detective. So, something kind of happened. Um, apparently, even though I did a save state in this game, the way this game worked, it already saved the data for the way that it worked. So, like, if, let's say, I paused the game and then pressed save stat, it would actually just take me to the next level right here. So, yeah, I only trained up Yusuke in this level and not that far, and Kuwabara got nothing, just so you know. But besides that, let's get back into this. It's been a while since I've played, so I might be a little rusty. Yusuke, I've got a big case for you. Three criminals have stolen the great artifacts of darkness from my father's vault, made slush out of the guards, and escaped to the living world. If these stolen artifacts are used to their potential, the entire living world will be in a state of chaos and suffering. Lost lives, captured souls, and a bunch of other unpleasant things. Got it? How am I supposed to stop the criminals who made slush out of your father's guards? I don't have any weapons. How am I supposed to find them? You didn't let me finish. You know, you, you now have the ability to control your spirit energy in the form of a gun. You don't have a lot of spirit energy, so you are limited to how many times you can fire your spirit gun. Yes, we actually... Uh, I was wrong before. While you can learn one spirit move, you can't learn the other. And I believe the last one you learn too, because you learn three moves in this game for each character. Um, I believe you can only learn that one later as well, but you can learn the second one before you learn the first one, just so you know. I did while I was doing some grinding. Anyway, um, as your spirit energy grows, the more times you will be able to use your spirit gun. All you have to do is aim and press the B button to use it. The blue bar at the bottom of the screen is your spirit meter, which will allow you to see how many spirit energy you currently have. There are three detective items you have to find in the city, and I believe psychic spy glasses should be the school. Oh, it should be by the school. The demon's compass is close to the warehouse. The concentration ring is on a dumpster in the city. After recovering the three detective items, your chief concern will be recovering the artifacts. The shadow sword will make a monster from whoever it cuts. The forlorn hope admits a cryptic power that grants wishes, and the orb of beasts can capture a living soul, especially those of children. Yusuke, find and recover these artifacts. Don't forget to find your detective items first. Alrighty then, so yes, now we can use the spare gun, the game's telling us how to do this, but fuck this. Uh, yes, so if you press the... Is it the... No, is it select? Yes, it is select. We have the spirit gun, and then also the spirit punch. Yes, um, again, there's a thing that... I don't know if that uses the... I think it uses the spirit energy instead of the strength stat, I'm not sure, or even honestly care. <laughs> so, yes, but just so we know now... Um, if I'm gonna have to do grinding for an episode, I'm gonna have to look ahead or stop a stop a video mid uh, mid what we're doing, so we so I can go look at that. Actually, I think I need to go this way. But we're gonna have to do that in the future, which kind of sucks. But what do you do? So anyway, it's been a while since I've uh, did the first video. I was working on a different kind of video that I don't know if it'll be out by this point. I am trying to get certain sections of the video done per day to make it a little easier on myself. But uh, nope, not up there. But anyway, because of that, I moved my microphone around my closet because if you didn't know, um, closets are a great place to do recording stuff because you can't hear because it, 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 it sucks in the sounds that bounce off the walls because I don't have money to buy stupid sound shit <laughs> like some people do. All right. So anyway, this is the spirit gun. It shoots out, hits people and bam. Yeah, we're at level seven now. I'm not sure what level we were at before. We want to grab this the psychic spyglass i'm not going to explain what it does all it does is see through walls if i remember correctly and i believe obviously they did a gag in the tv show where he looked through the um where he was I, he, I don't think he actually did it but he was talking about looking in the girl's bathroom <laughs> which is a little bit weird but it's you know where it's teenage boy kind of shit that's what it's what we always do they i think they even made that joke in the superman tv show did a safe state just because so yeah, I basically went through most of this uh, level by by myself, and then saved it, and then like like got to a certain point and then saved it and just fought everybody I could, because I really I really would have loved to grind in the last video and uh, while I might have been able to just do the game over again off screen, I've been practicing for another let's play, which I'm hoping to get some recording done soon, and I, I the reason why I practice for it is just so I can get an idea of it. Man, I my opinions changed on it. I, I've I've come to the conclusion. So I always thought, uh, which is weird, but I'll, I'll get to that when I get to that last play. It is, it is anime related, so okay, so you guys are like, oh, I wonder what it could be. 
It is anime related and it's after, uh, and it's not Ninja Council. Alright, I think we need to go up here. Yeah, I think this is the way to the dumpster that he was taught, that, uh, Kawenma was talking about. So yeah, kind of funny that, you know, y Yusuke kind of makes a point with the whole thing. You know, why does he send Yusuke after these guys when it's honestly a suicide mission? Like, it always seems like that with Kawenma in the in the series because it's like everything was mo it's usually a suicide mission but just i always thought that was kind of funny and fuck your shit fuck your shit there we go bam and our spirit energy heals over time so really nothing to worry about there god the god this area sucks i don't know if they really oh i went to the wrong side motherfuckers so, I don't know if they really had talked about much of, because I think, I don't, I don't necessarily think Yusuke, like, lived in the ghetto ghetto, but it wasn't that fucking bad, that's for sure. Bam. Oh yeah, loving the spirit stuff. Music in this game's weird, too. It always gives me a weird, like, I just, I just, it just sounds weird to me. Alright, should be running into some more bad guys, or not. Hey, if, if we don't, I'm cool with that too. Oh, no. Gotta keep going down, okay. I thought that's where the wall was gonna be. <laughs> you know what I noticed? This game needs a map screen. That's what this game needs. It needs a map screen. That would have been perfect for this game. Because I've been using the fuck out of it out of a different game, and I'm just like, you know what? This game really, really could use that. Anyway, this is the concentration ring, and instead of being a one-time thing with the spirit gun it um again instead of being a one-time thing with the spirit gun it permanently increases the power of it so you know we just got it and now it's slightly stronger so who knows i mean it's probably not even that much slightly stronger <laughs> but yeah i do hate the way this the the compass is in this game it, it doesn't really work in this isometric um it just throws you for a loop so many different times where it's like, oh, never mind, even though we're telling you to go this way, it's actually supposed to be around here because, you know, it's not going to be able to tell you exactly where it is. Because the developers are too lazy to kind of go through a path thing instead of a whatever, but what do you do? <laughs> oh, bad guys. Fuck you. Yeah, it doesn't look like it doesn't really do that much more. So, what do you do? I forgot how many levels I went up by doing this. I mean, these guys aren't necessarily hard. I mean, I did lose a decent amount of health, so grinding... I never grinded when I first played the game because I didn't know any... I didn't know what the save stat thing was. I was just like, what? What's that? That sounds stupid. And because of that, I never really, like, grinded in this game before. I just kind of pushed through and hoped for the best. But, um... Yeah, grinding's kind of good, and it just it makes the game more enjoyable, especially because you have more abilities to use, especially for the other characters later on, because you really don't get a lot out of it. Boom, baby. Fuck you. I think I got... I get two hits out of these fuckers? Yep, two hits with the spirit punch, so that's good. Would have loved to train in that other level, though. <laughs> it's just stupid, because I'm just like, what? Why isn't it doing this? And then I realized that, you know, this is a different kind of game. And because of that whole save stat thing, I really couldn't take advantage. You know, it's, you know, save states are a little bit different. Because we are technically saving to the to the game, to the cartridge, when we use a save space state. We're just telling the game, oh, go back to this point. You know, you can, you can save in a game and then use a save point, and then usually... You know, unless you save over it, the game should just be like, oh, hey, you know, he's at this point, but as soon as you turn, as soon as you uh, reset the game or something, or uh, try to load from something else, instead you're going to get a different kind of, uh, you know, you're going to go back to that saving point. But because of the way this game works, when I saved, it only saved once, and it just, you know, it, it didn't take me back to the previous area. Level select would have been nice. Oh, shit! <laughs> I got fucking hit by that car. Jesus Christ. And then, and then the day was over. God, that would suck. I can just imagine that. It's just like, oh, well, that sucks. It just gets hit by a car again. 
Is it uncommon for uh, cars to be in Japan? I know in China they're extremely uncommon, but is it uncommon for cars in Japan? It, they definitely don't. I, I know they're not as anywhere near as popular as, as America. And we got the Demon Compass. Your compass now has the ability to track demons and it will lead you to the area where the demon is located and flash red when that demon is nearby. That's right. Sorry about the flashing of save states. Save states. All right, time to get out of here and we're gonna go chase down one of those demons. Which really, it had a whole, uh... The demons in this thing kind of got the Dragon Ball Z thing going on. With the way that everything works out. Like, it, it, it kind of parallels a lot of the Saiyan saga. And fuck you. Oh, no, I missed. Another reason why this isometric view sucks. I'm sure the reason why this game's pseudo 3D is because it was easier to make than fucking sprites. Lazy asses. I mean, for all I know, I'm wrong right there, too. I'm gonna be like, oh, actually, it was much more difficult to do this than the pre red You're just like, yeah, but Yusuke kind of looks like ass here. I mean, I, th I think it probably, the whole game probably would have looked better if they didn't, if they went for the 2D thing. I mean, you know, pseudo 3D is nice, but I don't know. So I doubt this is running actual 3D. I mean, if it is, then fuck, you know, impressive, but doesn't really make it. Actually, a uh, funny, funny reason why I got this game too. Um, I used to love watching uh, WB Kids when I was a kid, and I always uh, signed up for like the competitions and stuff when I had the ability to. And out of one of them, I got a twenty-five dollar gift card to Toys R Us, and I bought this game with it. So funny story there. You remember WB Kids? That stuff was the shit. Oh, oh, we found someone. Game saved. Nice. Okay. Are you the demon that stole the Orb of Beast? I sure am. I'll tell myself a nice and neat. What? I'll turn myself in nice and neat if I can rip off your head. Sounds like a deal, just don't pull my hair. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Um, but if you don't mind waiting, I need a little snack. What do you mean? I find this orb very useful. I never have to cook any more people. Oh, I don't have to cook anymore. People don't realize how hard it is to eat human souls. You gotta cook the humans enough so that they taste good, but not enough to kill them. Instead, I'll just use the orb to eat the soul of this child. Monster, spit it out! God, that hurt my throat. Alright, so now we're fighting this motherfucker. Well, that was easy. Bam, fuck you! Ah oh, yes, take the scene straight from the TV show. Great job, guys. Next time I see Koenmo, remind me to ask how to fight a, or fight monsters. Easy kid, you run away. Oh snap! Do you know the beast? Oh, do you know what the best spices for a soul are? Some fear and a dash of pain. I'm really going to die. <laughs> Yay! All right, so we got these orbs around here. Those will have little things to restore spirit energy faster because this guy's just gonna run around, and that one's a health one. So yep. Keep firing at the fucker. I'm gonna do a safe state here. Because we're actually whooping his ass. I'm curious. Kinda wanna grind up this motherfucker, but that probably won't work out well at all. Yeah, we're we're doing well enough. We can just beat his ass. Oh, you're just gonna pull the tree out of nowhere. I, like I get how he pulls the tree, but he does it out of nowhere and just a little bit weird, guys. Just a little bit. In the nuts! Hey guys, so I decided to grind up to level 15 while I was here, because fuck it, so uh, yeah. But anyway, I found out something funny. At a high enough level, you can just spirit gun this guy, and Yusuke just kind of apparently teleports himself up to punch him in the face. So yeah, I decided to do that, and uh, he, this guy's a pushover now, so ha 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 ha. Oh no, I was going to have one more ha. I thought I was going to have one more ha, goddammit. So yeah, leveling up to level 15 just because, well, I had the ability to, and it's a lot easier to do it here. Great job, Yusuke. You defeated Gu Guaco and Gu Guaco is wait, or was it Gaki? I don't know his fucking name. I hope it was Guaco because that guy brought the guacamole. Nah, fucking around anyway, and got the orb of beast back. Yeah, but I nearly lost my head to get one artifact back. I'm scared to think what two more of them will take. I find it funny that they didn't like have the part where like he doesn't win in this part and then like have to go find him again the next day. Like I just I'm really surprised about that. Yusuke, get up! We have to go find Kurama and Hiei and get back the other two artifacts. The next two thieves will be even stronger, and there's another catch. Kuenma didn't tell you this, but you only have one week. 
Why does that surprise me? Yo, Yusuke, we don't have time for a part pity party if these... Uh, if we don't get the artifact back from when my father returns. Well, I'm not sure I can put words off the... Uh, words to the devastation. 